Hello my dear students hope you all are doing good let's start today's class we have four friends here named tense past present and future and tense asked her friends a question what is the question yes do you like ice cream past says i liked ice cream what about present? Yes, I like ice cream. And future? I will like ice cream. Now, our tense is so happy with the reply of present as she has used present form of verb like. And now we have present and tense together as present tense. So children, our today's aim is to identify and use present tense verbs. I repeat, to identify and use present tense verbs. And the keywords are verbs, present tense, routine. Verbs, present tense, routine. Children, what do you mean by a verb? Yeah, exactly. Verbs are doing words or verbs show the action or how a person feels. Very good. Now you may please read the story The Blue Kite and underline the verbs in it. Let's see a few examples from the story The Blue Kite. Zippy flies high in the sky. She hears them talking. She thinks to herself. She takes off for China. She feels proud of herself. Zippy flies high in the sky. What's a verb in the sentence? Yeah, very good. It flies. And in the next one, she hears them talking. Yes, it's hears. And in the next sentence, she thinks to herself. Yeah, thinks. And what about the fourth one? She takes off for China. Takes as a verb. And in the last sentence, she feels proud of herself. Feels as a verb. So, all these underlined words are present tense verbs because they show action happening in the present. See, our tense is coming again with another question. Dear present, can you tell me about your daily routine? Present starts telling. I get up at 7 a.m. My mom gets up at 5 a.m. First, I brush my teeth. Then, I eat my breakfast. Finally, I come to school. First, mom gets ready. Then, she prepares breakfast. Finally, she drops me to school. All these sentences tells us about a routine. Something that happens regularly or always. So, the verbs in these sentences are said to be in the present tense. Now, children, you can see few verbs are having S along with it. See the first sentence, I get up at 7 a.m. There it's get. What about the second sentence? My mom gets up at 5 a.m. One S is there with get. Why we are using this S along with get? Along with the pronouns I, you, they, we, we always use the base form of the verb means we are using the verb as it is we are not adding s or es to the verb you can see examples i get up at 7 a.m you drink water they play football we learn english and along with the pronouns he she it that means the third person singular we are adding s or es to the verb 
For example, he writes the exam. What is the base form? It is write. Write plus s. We are adding one s there. Then the second one. She watches television. Watch is the base form. W A T C H. Watch. And along with watch, we are adding e s. Watches. Then the second one. It catches the prey. Again, with catch, we are adding e s. So, dear students, along with the pronouns he, she, it. That means the third person singular. We will be adding S or ES to the base form of the verb. Hope it's clear. Now you may please turn page number 23 of your English workbook. There you can see S3 simple present tense. Question number 1. Answer the questions in the correct tense. A. What time do you wake up? What time do you wake up? You can write your own time. For example, I wake up at 6 in the morning. B. What time do you go to school? I go to school at 7 a.m. What do you like to read? I like to read fairy tales. Do you exercise regularly? Okay, so write your own answers. Now the second question. Choose the correct words to fill in the blanks. A. A myth dash a flower for our teacher every day. Bring or brings. What will be the answer? Yeah, a myth brings a flower for our teacher every day. Because I told you along with third person singular, we will be adding S or ES with the base form of the verb. So, a myth brings a flower for our teacher every day. Next one, Shodhya dash to school every day. Goes or go. C. I dash regularly. Exercise, exercises. D. Why don't you dash up early? Wake or wakes? Next one. He dash food. He want or wants. So choose the correct words and fill in the blanks. Now we'll move to the third question. Describe your daily routine in the correct sequence. Use words like first, then, next, after that and finally. How will you write? For example, first I wake up. Then I brush my teeth. Next I eat my breakfast. Like this you can complete that. Okay, so you have to use the words first, then, next, after that and finally. Okay, children. So that's all for today. Thank you.